Hey, Hebrew fans. So I have finally finished my um, object of that dungeon. And here it is. And you can see, oops, wrong control there. Here you can see I have the window over here and I put some bars in it. And this window is actually big enough for the bars weren't there. He-Man could actually slip through here with his shoulders on both sides to give you an idea of height. And so He-Man would probably be about this tall on it. And so obviously you have to scoot underneath to get in the door. But you can see I made the top just like the sticker. So it looks just like the sticker inside Castle Grayskull with the same metal pieces and the rivets and stacked the same way. So this could actually be like the, um, the Well of Souls, I think it's called, um, where, the, where the monsters are all at inside if you wanted to. Now, um, some cool features that I have done to make this even better is uh, one, um, I'm going to print this in uh, one, two, three, four different pieces so I can print this in a faster quality so it only take me three and a half days to print but then I want to print the skull in a higher quality so this skull right here will be glued on later and I made sure there was a nice flat landing spot for it so I can glue that on and second, this top is removable oops, how you print it separately and uh, you can see here that I added four little pegs that line up with these grooves right there. Let me zoom this out a little bit so you guys can see. There we go. And so you can see that those four pegs line up with those four holes. I've also gone back and remade the whole entire thing so the walls are thinner, so it doesn't take so much plastic. And uh, this way I can still print it in one piece. And I made sure the corners were extra strong and extra thick so they don't break after it's been, been made. Now another cool feature, let me go ahead and put this uh, below the floor so you guys can see this, is I made a gate that will be able to be uh, lifted once the door is removed. So I have a channel cut out for it so that you can actually have the playability of opening and closing the dungeon gate and that's why that's also being printed separately too. So here is the dungeon I'm working on. And again, it will have the tops removable. And the fun part about this is you could literally just put this right on the ground if you wanted to and not use the, the dungeon. Because, uh, you know, of course the pegs will be little ways and things in the way, but it's still kind of cool, kind of fun for customizing. And then I'll have the gate that opens and shuts. And then I will glue the skull on before you guys get it or maybe let you guys glue it on yourself. Super glue works great for this kind of plastic. So, And I made sure it was a nice flat landing spot for it. All right, I did debate whether or not to put on these right here. Um, at first, I wasn't going to have it just because it'd be cool to have a thing to push things through to them, you know, like food or whatever. But then when I realized when I scaled it that He-Man could fit through the, the window, it's like, you know, I probably should put bars. Now, the original toy did not have bars like this. It was more like just sticks coming down. But I went with this style here because it matches the grate from the sticker. From the original um, Castle Grayskull toy. So I decided to go with that motif all the way around for the window as well. So that way you don't lose the aesthetic of something different as it goes around. So here is my dungeon and I should be getting my 3D printer tomorrow. And once I get it tomorrow I will start this printing. Um, I will start with the actual um, frame of the dungeon first. Then once I get that printed then I will print um, this top grate and then I will print the door and then last I will print the skull and crossbones because that should print really fast so that is the plan and then it'll probably take probably about a week to print each one so it's going to be pretty slow going but this one right here is, is scaled for classics because that's the first one I want to do now um, obviously I'm planning on making a couple others as I mentioned in my other video just depending on um, what um, what size figures you're going to use or how you're going to use it. So, this is it. Let me know what you think. Um, again, it was a lot of work, especially getting this thing channeled out just right so that door can open and shut. I think it's going to be a cool addition to it. Um, granted, you can't open the door unless the top's off, but it does slide to the bottom. 
And I did that on purpose so in case it gets stuck, you can pull it through one way or the other. I was going to put stoppers on it, but then I realized you're going to put this on the floor anyway. Or, so you don't need to have stoppers in the bottom because those floors will be your stoppers. So there is the cool, unproduced dungeon. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the way the dungeon looks. If you, I, I mean, I really like the skull and crossbones in front. I think it's really cool. But let me know what you guys think. And uh, I will hopefully have some updates for you guys uh, in, in a couple weeks. All right. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you guys next video. Bye now.